Yeah, we will see you will see more real use case uh, instead of just picture and just a picture, and stuff. Just a gift. Yeah. Okay, uh, moving on, Kelvin, let's talk a little bit about Web 3.0, Metaverse, and gaming. Because I think these three uh, are heavily linked together. So, uh, you mentioned that you played uh, Axie Infinity and other, like, maybe play to earn types of games. Do you think the concept of having good mechanics, social aspect, and governance applies the same way to a normal game, to, to a Metaverse game? So, I would argue that uh, normal game and, and and a NFT game, there's almost no uh, difference to it. It's just that NFT, there's more cash grab, cash grab for the developers and right. the players. Uh, so NFT game obviously must be fun. I, I remember there was last year there was one game, the Neko Inno. Uh, it was it called itself a NFT game uh, but in reality it's just a Ponzi scheme where you where you invite a friend and you. Uh, earn five percent every day because you invite him, and if you add, every, so it's five percent every single day. Right. If you are, if the game is very good, you'll be everyone will be millionaire by now. So, which obviously wasn't. So the game collapsed, or rather the developer ran away. Right. Uh, so back to the question, uh, NFT game obviously must be fun, but but now that he has a real money tied to it. It, the game becomes more sort of uh, investment rather than uh, playing it for fun. Right. So I'll use uh, SC Infinity as an example. When I started last year, I found out, after playing a few times, I found out that the reason anyone would play the game is just because they wanted to earn money right. and, and not because they find the game fun. Right. If I want a fun game, I would just play like Candy Crush or whatever. Okay. But the reason I'm playing SC Infinity is just because I want to earn money. I see. So after, after a while, it becomes a chore trying to play the game every day. But of course, I think SC Infinity is a very early uh, definition of NFT games. Uh. There are much better games right now. Okay. And so, so going forward, I think that some probably successful games could be like MMORPG, where you can farm items and sell it off. Mm. Uh, or maybe you have land. Like what, uh, this kind of stuff. So that's where NFT comes in, la. Right. So do you think that um, the ROI on your time for the games used to be a major criteria? Like if you played XCNPP for six hours, you expect certain X amount of dollars, and because you don't get that anymore, it's no longer fun. So the the earning potential is part of the fun with the game, and there will be NFT games that are fun just for the sake of it. Okay, so I think um, some people will find it earning money fun. La. Uh, but if you ask me, I would prefer working at a real job because it gives higher pay than a game. Right. So it, you have to go back to the roots of playing a game. The purpose of playing a game is to have fun. Yeah. And if I have to uh, earn my livelihood through playing a game, then it already becomes boring yeah. to me. La. Especially if I have to keep doing it every single day, yeah. and if I like suck at the game, then I will, I will not have enough money to buy my chai fan or whatever. I think that's a good point actually, yeah. and it says that it, it tells you already that at the moment at least NFTs have a limited audience. So for example, somebody who needs a stability, someone in their forties who have a family, they will still prefer to have a full time job as their main source of income. They can't rely on NFTs to earn their money. Of course, this story might be a little bit different because we speak from a place of privilege. Maybe in uh, other countries that may not be the case and people, there are not enough good jobs out there. So NFTs provide an alternative. That's, that's one argument you can make for it. So maybe another argument is that, yeah, like you say, uh, uh, NFT games benefit the people from poorer countries where the currency exchange is much weaker, stronger, <laughs> mm -hmm. where, where, where the currency exchange benefit them more. Probably another one is where for students who are not earning money, right? Yeah. Uh, then this is a good side income for them while right. they are studying. Because other than studying, you are, you are playing games, ma, so might as well earn money from it. Right. For, but for people who, are, have, who have a real full-time job, like a programmer, yeah. you are working at a job 8 hours a day, you are coming back, you are not possibly going to work another 4 hours just to earn a few dollars. Uh, so then another thing about NFT games is that it's very sensitive to uh, changes. 
So there are two changes. One is the currency, the crypto price change, where like uh, the SLP for SE Infinity it has been dropping. So what your earnings have been dropping every day. Then the other one is the, the game developer change. So uh, probably like the meta that rebalance the entire game. Then suddenly all, all of your items are worthless already. Right. So and rebalancing is a very yeah. natural stage of games. Mm. Like it happens over years, right? Like actually it never ends. For, yeah. At least for MMORPGs, there are always class changes, yeah. mechanics changes over time. Uh, I mean, it's also difficult for the developer, I think, because now when they now they have to consider the economy when they make a, a mechanic change. I just imagine myself now in the game industry where not only do I need to care about the game balance, but you care about who are the whales, who gets pissed off because you made yeah. this change and things like that. So it becomes a very challenging balancing act from everybody's side involved in the game. Yeah. yeah. So I think those are the challenges of uh, NFT game now. And that's why I think NFT game, it, it comes and goes all the time. La. Like, you, just, just for normal games, the longest running game is probably like what, uh, Pokemon, World of Warcraft. And I would say that they have to keep coming up with new versions uh, otherwise the franchise would die off. Yeah. So actually yeah. the way I look at it is the NFT is like a fundraiser, right? The people yeah. who buy the tokens raise the funds initially for the game, like a Kickstarter. But then now they have to use that funds to effectively create new content so you can continue to grow or maybe steal market share from other games, things like yeah. that. Um, so you're, what you are betting on if you are trying to invest in NFTs is whether that developer has the ability to use the capital allocated to create better content than their rivals and then and, oh, yeah. Yeah. and the other way to look at it is if you just think the game is fun then you don't take it too seriously the game is like yeah. an extra bonus income yeah. if you make some money otherwise you just have fun and the thing about game developers is that they come and go all the time <laughs> like in Singapore I, I remember seeing when I was going for interview I, was, I have this entire list of uh, companies <clears throat> where I can uh, submit my interview application. Mm. And just five years later, like, almost half of the list are dead already. Right. And I believe more will be dying every year or something. So it's just the big companies that will survive right. uh, all, all this kind of, I would say, cutthroat industry. Right. Uh, so that's why if you really want to invest in NFT games, I would say go for the bigger games so that you don't end up with a worthless piece of crypto in the end. Like, uh, I remember Microsoft buying Blizzard was because they wanted to build a metaverse which would translate to NFT games. Uh, Ubisoft, I think, is also going into that direction. Uh, and for Japan, Nintendo, I think they are also planning to launch their own metaverse or NFT game. So, yeah, I, I would prefer to go play the bigger games rather than smaller games which are going to die off quickly and anyway. Right, Yeah. That makes sense. So the same rules apply, um, you would more likely play a triple A title and yeah. more RPG than some, some, some guy who made it by himself and all that. Not to say that there isn't great content out there, but I think you have to be like a lot more careful when you decide to put your money into a lesser known NFT yeah. or NFT game than, than the, the big players. Yeah.